We begin with some severe weather in Texas. Flash flooding that brought more than 20 inches of rain in different parts of the state. And there's more on the way. It's a situation that's making people compare it to Hurricane Harvey. Steve Campion from our affiliate KTRK is in southeast Texas with the latest. Steve? The rain has been relentless here in southeast Texas. You can see it's still falling right now. We are in the small community of Winnie, where the sheriff's office estimates more than 20% of the homes have taken on water. I want you to look at the main drag here in town. You can see it is covered in water. There still are abandoned vehicles here. The drivers were forced to abandon those vehicles due to rising water. And if you look over here, here's one of them here in the ditch. In the distance, another. And a little bit farther over to our right, we have a pickup truck. So this is a serious situation that has unfolded overnight here in southeast Texas. It's a devastating and dangerous flood. People that we have spoken with have left their homes and they have come to this gas station to seek refuge. First responders have deployed high water rescue vehicles and boats to help people out here. They are prioritizing those calls based on need, but certainly this is still an unfolding situation happening in Southeast Texas. I'm Steve Campion in Winnie, Texas. You're watching ABC News Live. All right, thank you, Steve. A very dangerous situation. Our Clayton Sandell uh, spoke with the sheriff of Chambers County earlier today, so take a listen. Hey, Kimberly, we are here in the town of Winnie, Texas, or we're trying to get into the town of Winnie, Texas. I'm here with Chambers County Sheriff Brian Hawthorne. Um, this, we talked yesterday, um, and there wasn't a lot going on here, and then everything changed overnight. Kind of tell me what happened. So the uh, weather really started moving into Chambers County on the extreme side, probably at about 5 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. It hit our west side, and then when it moved over here to the east side, it stalled and has continued to stall and train. And the, the weather got bad here about 8 p.m., mm -hmm. and it is still bad, as you can see now. So it, we're, we're pushing almost 12 hours. The first three hours, it was doing five to six inches an hour. An hour. An hour. It's a lot so, of water. So we, we're estimating now that we're probably pushing 20 to 25 inches of rain easily. Just um, since last night. Just since last night. And okay. a lot of these houses are uh, have taken on rising water yep. that did not get rising water in Harvey. We were talking about that earlier. You said the effects here were not as bad as a major hurricane that hit here two years ago. That is, that is correct. And it has just stalled on us like Harvey did. Yeah. All right. But um, the hospital didn't flood during Harvey. We've had to evacuate the hospital. Um, a number of homes that never have ever seen water ever in their life now have water in them. Uh, it's just, the, the, just too much water, uh, too quick. Do you think people had time to get out, or were most people, or a lot of people, stranded? Um, most people, like myself included, did not realize that this would stall for as many hours as it had. So everybody knew it was going to be a bad rain event, but they had no idea that it would be a 12-hour stall rain event. And it just keeps training and just keeps bringing in more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. It's a lot of water and not a lot of places for it to go of, right well, now. Well, it's just run out of places to go. Yeah. So. Uh, so what does the next 12 hours look like for you here in this town? Well, until it quits raining, it, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. Um, you know, we keep waiting for daylight to come, but it's so overcast and so and raining so hard, we're still not even realizing that the sun should be shining right now. Right. But, um, it's not, and, and until it gets daylight, we really won't know what, what we really have. Okay. Have you ever seen it this bad? Have you ever seen anything like this, Sheriff? Well, I, I've, I've been through a lot of hurricanes. I did Hurricane Ike. I, I, have, I did Hurricane Rita. I did Hurricane Harvey. But this is the worst flooding I've ever seen. Chambers County, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. That is the situation here in, in uh, Winnie, uh, Kimberly. Uh, still a long way to go. And as the Sheriff says, until this rain stops, they're going to be dealing with problems uh, probably all day throughout tomorrow as well. Kimberly. All right, Clayton, unbelievable. Um, thank you for the updates there. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.